It's Dino. We back in the boxing world, man. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. We're on the road to 1K. Go ahead and get me there so I can get monetized and drop some better quality videos, man. But yeah, Joseph Parker's trainer, which is Andy Lee, he came out and said that um, Parker will be ready to um, challenge the boys in February for that IBF title if Anthony Joshua and um, Daniel fight doesn't happen again. If the rematch doesn't happen, he said he'll be willing to take that fight in February or whenever. So I definitely would rather see that fight than um, Anthony Joshua Du Bois again. I definitely rather see that fight because <laughs> Joshua came in the ring with no defense, no no nothing, man. Like he was just horrible. And um, Parker, he a lot more technically sound. He got some great feints that keep his opponents off balance. Like y'all see how he did Zang all his feints. And his whole game plan, he's going to come in there with a way better game plan than Anthony Joshua did. And it'll be a way better fight, man. And Joseph Parker got a lot of heart. He's going to get back up. And he actually going to put up a great fight after getting knocked down. He got knocked down twice by Zane, got back up. Still put up a great fight. Still found a way to win. Like, Parker, a warrior. He coming off two good wins. Like, he beat Wilder, beat Zane. Like, he coming off two good wins. And I think he deserved a title shot, man. If anybody deserve it. I think he deserved it, but the only problem is he's the WBO interim. Interim, he got the WBO interim belt right now, so ain't no telling if the IBF will actually let him fight for the um the IBF title because the IBF said that um the boy, I mean Daniel, he can um fight whoever he want that's in the IBF top fifteen voluntarily, but of course Joseph Parker is not in the top fifteen somehow. Because he has the WBO intern belt. So I don't know how that'll work out. I'm sure the IBF will probably grant him access to fight um, Parker because he is an intern belt holder and another sanctioning body. So I don't see why they wouldn't do it. But you never know with the IBF, man. A lot of people have been on the IBF head lately. But you can't really blame them, man. They usually go by the rules. But yeah. Who's in the top 15, man? Who else in the top 15 for um, Daniel to fight? You got um, Martin Bacoli, Agate Kabayel. <laughs> you got Zali, you got Zang, <laughs> who got beat by Joseph Parker. So I definitely don't think he should get the fight. <laughs> if Parker not getting the fight, and you got Frank Sanchez, um, Hargovit, he just lost. Chisora, come on, man. Nobody wants to see that. Otto, Wardley, Jared Anderson. Like, come on, man. Nobody wants to see that. He just got beat up by Bacoli. Why would he get a title shot? Or why would Daniel give him a title shot? But, yeah, hopefully he end up picking Joseph Parker in the IBF. Sign off on it, man. I don't see why they wouldn't. I mean, he he, that, he clearly one of the best heavyweights. He got an intern belt in another section and body. But this just shows that belts really don't matter, man, and all this sanctioning stuff is all politics. All the belts is politics. And it really doesn't matter, man. You just got to get your shot. And if you do, you got to take advantage of it, man. But, yeah, I don't think that um the boy, I mean, Daniel and, um, and Anthony Joshua, I don't think they end up fighting again. I don't see why Joshua would do it again because I don't think he wins the next fight either. I don't know. I don't, I don't think there's any coming back from that against um, Daniel. I feel like taking the Fury route, route would make more sense. And that's what it seemed like Eddie Hearn was leaning towards. And that's probably a, a huge fight, a bigger fight, even if they both coming off losses. Especially if Fury ends up winning and beats, beats Usyk for the three belts. Hey, man, that's a huge fight, a really huge fight. But even if he loses, and they both, I mean, if he loses... And then um, they fight. Like, that's still a huge fight. Everybody been wanting to fight for a long time. And they two of the biggest names overseas. Like, they two of the biggest names there is in heavyweight. So, it'll be a huge fight, man. They both done did record numbers at the, um, at the Wembley. So, it's like, hey, it's going to be a huge fight. So, I, I lean towards seeing that happen. I think that'll end up happening. Before we get the um, Daniel Joshua rematch, I don't think we'll ever get it. But I don't know, man. I hope the boys do fight somebody else, and I hope that is Joseph Parker, man, because I think that'll be a good fight. I really don't know who wins that fight, 
could go either way, really. That's pretty much a 50-50 fight <laughs> on paper. But I don't know, man. It'll be interesting to see. Because we know how um, Daniel got outboxed by Usyk. And Par Parker could box too, man. Parker could box. He got hard. Like, he got the whole package. He got a little, he got some power. The boy got some power. He got it. Parker got a chin, kind of. Like, he ain't going to get knocked out. He do get dropped sometimes. He done got dropped. <laughs> he done got knocked out. But it's heavyweight, man. You can bounce back from anything. So it's like, hey, I definitely wouldn't mind seeing it, man. It's a lot of good fights to be made at heavyweight. A lot of good fighters. But we'll see what ends up end up happening, man. I don't know, man. I don't know who. I'd rather see Parker or um, if not, then I, I'd like to see Agate fight him. Or Bacoli. Bacoli cool, too, but... Anybody else? Come on, man. Just throw Joseph Parker in there. Let's call it a day, man. Hopefully the IBF don't get in the way of this, but it seems like they being cool about it, man. But we'll see what end up happening, man. Y'all let me know who y'all think Daniel should fight. And if y'all think Joseph Parker could beat him, if y'all think Agate could beat him, if y'all think Bacoli could beat him, like who y'all think could beat him, man? Who y'all think got the best chance? Let me know what y'all think, man. Who y'all think Joshua going to end up fighting next if it's not Daniel, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. I reply to every comment, man. Y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button too, though, man. On the road to 1K.